Tonight's episode of Q Weekly is proudly brought to you by Fitness First. Welcome to Q Weekly, uh, the first Q Weekly of 2005. We hope you had a fantastic new year. I'm Stevie, welcome. Now we've got uh, episode seven of Can't Even Think Straight on, this, on our Q Weekly tonight. We have a uh, Vox Pops with Michael King and we also are going to be speaking to a new member of the Ben TV family, Miss Elizabeth Blast, who's going to be uh, appearing in upcoming Q calendars. Now. Uh, we're going to go straight to episode 7 of Can't Even Think Straight right now. And in this episode, somebody is pregnant and somebody gets the blame. Let's have a look. mistake and it screws up your entire day. One little mistake. The spare room, the bedroom, what difference does it make who's having sex with who anyhow? We're all in the family. You are a filthy, filthy man, Dr. Fielding. Oh, just what I need. Jim, oh, hey, good yeah. to see you again. Uh, can I get you a beer? No, thanks, Donna. I'm just on my way out for a jog. How about an enema? Oh, no, don't drink boutique beers. Oh, oh, hmm? Well, listen, thanks for dinner last night. It was great to meet, greet with your great family. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to have a word about Corey. Uh, uh, Corey, huh? And uh, why would that be, Mr. Rogers? Oh, Jim, please. Oh, why would that be, oh, Jim, please? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, really. It's just Roy, that's all. But acting kind of strange about Corey. I was wondering if the two might be... Uh... Oh, no, I'm sure the two wouldn't be. Uh, gee, it's great to talk to you on this, Jim. Uh, look, we'll have to get together for that beer sometime, uh, huh? Uh, look, I'll see you at work here tomorrow. Have a hey. great job. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, take it easy, uh, Simon. Yeah, I never felt better. <laughs> punch him! <it up, laughs> <Jim. laughs> Why, you lips. righty out, buddy boy. Your time's up. Dad, can't you see your ex massaging my Kundalini? Why, oh, you little... Hey, Dr. Fielding, how's that new exercise machine of yours working out? All right, Pop, just you listen to me. I'm getting pretty tired of walking through a quagmire of soggy sex tissues to get to my bathroom. And if you don't stop having sex with my boss's son, I can lose just about everything! Dad, maybe you should take a lie down. You don't look so good. Ah! Come on, Eric, let's go ahead and swim your spa. <gasps> If this was a TV show, they couldn't come up with a storyline that was as crappy as this one. Who said that? Yeah, that's right. Everywhere you go, Dr. Fielding. Snowy. Yeah, alone at last. You got Corey having sex with your boss's yeah. son and leaving tissues all over the bathroom floor, embarrassing you and your lovely wife. You got Carla pregnant, and now you're about to lose your job, your wife, and the respect of the entire local community. So what are you gonna do about it, Dr. Fielding? I'm going to... 
I'm gonna... Come up with a plan? I'm gonna come up with a plan. And would that be an evil plan by any chance, Dr. Fielding? One that is sinister and brilliant and evil. You are a genius, Dr. Fielding. So what you're gonna do is blame this pregnancy stuff on someone else. Exactly. I love the way your mind works. And so, Dr. Genius, the logical person of blame would be... Ah, uh, just let me think a minute. Um... Now, I know we're both thinking the same thing here, okay? So I'll go first. Come here. I gotta whisper this in your ear. <laughs> he was here just a minute ago. Am I right? Right. And he's about ready to settle down and start having some children. Uh-huh. And his DNA is scattered all over your bedroom floor. <laughs> yeah. You still don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Uh, just let me think. It begins with a cup. <laughs> Corey! Well, a talking cat. Enough said. Um, now, we are about to go to Vic, who was at the Federation Square for the Midsummer Opening Night, and he was speaking to the director of the Midsummer Opening Night. So let's go over to you, Vic. Hi, I'm Vic Perry and I'm at the Midsummer Launch 2005 and I've got Ray Arthur with me who's the uh, director of the fabulous opening night. How are you, Ray? I'm very well, thanks Vic. How are you going? Fantastic. Now last year it was just an amazing event and Ben TV were right behind it, uh, taking it out there to, to people in television land. Now what's, uh, what's going to be so special about the opening night of Midsummer 2005? Opening night 2005 will will take the best aspects of last year and we're actually going to really bring it out there, bring more people into the square, make Midsummer more accessible to more people. It's going to be a fabulous event. I've got Jono Francisco who's actually producing the main stage for us. We've got opening up with Joy broadcasting live from the square once again. Damien Nicholas is going to be out there for us and we'll be going probably from about 4, 4.30. Get the vibe up happening in the square, get everyone out after work in the beautiful sunshine, and then come about 6 o'clock, 6.30, we're actually going to start live entertainment on the main stage again. So we've got registered acts from the Midsummer program. We've also got uh, different community organizations that are out there that really want to get their voice out. And then come around 8 o'clock, we're actually going to have a formal welcome. Now, we're looking at having a large Aboriginal smoke ceremony and then from there we'll go into the formal welcomes from Midsummer and sponsors as you do. After that the lights come on and it's full on. We've got Candy Stratton who's going to be doing her new share show yep. so she'll come out. We've got Baby Lemonade, we've got Matt Thomas who's releasing his new single with the Bee Dolls. Uh, John and Francisco will be performing as well. And then to top off the night in the main square, we've actually got Summer Diva. Now we've brought Summer Diva out from the atrium where it was last year, and we've put it into the main square so that all 15,000 of us plus can actually see it. So we've got, um, I believe it's probably about nine or ten different acts that are going to be coming on. That'll go up until midnight, so it's a huge drag extravaganza. In fact, it's a hundred minutes of drag, and that'll go till, like I said, around midnight. It's not the only aspect of the night, though. The main square is, is obviously the, the huge focal point, but we've also got the cabaret stage. Cabaret is actually going to be held in Fetish, it's a Fetish restaurant, and so those of you that are really after a more intimate kind of environment, um, one that really celebrates that particular art form, that's really going to happen for you. It's going to start at about 9.30 and go for a few hours, go for a couple of hours up there happening in Zagat restaurant is Fast Love. Do you remember the speed dating, speed dating, speed yeah. dating from yeah. last year? Yeah. We're actually doing it again. We've got a larger venue. It's on the night registrations. So we're not taking any pre-registrations. You need to show up there at from 6.30. It's $20 to actually enter. You have a chance to meet up to 20 different people over that time. So you've got three minutes at the table 
We've got the VAC who are sponsoring us for that. So we've got Ethel Chop, we've got Adam Richards that are coming down. There's loads of entertainment and there's actually f um, a free leg opener. Cocktail. So it's just going to be an amazing it's, night. It's totally multifaceted. And, and the fantastic thing about it is that uh, it's in a, a major square, or it's in the city square, um, to get the city of Melbourne behind it. I mean, that, that's a major cure for, for any international city. It was. We're really proud of that. And we're really proud of the fact that we can now take our community into the, into the public arena we are completely recognised, we're completely validated. We've got so much support from bodies such as Federation Square Management and the City of Melbourne and obviously our sponsors um, that, that we can finally make that statement and be completely free and true to who we are. And, and of course there'll be heaps of public, you know, people just walking past who, who won't even, probably don't even know what Midsummer is, just finding it. It's, um, it's a luck with timing. It's actually the, uh, it's the peak weekend for Melbourne. It is uh, during the Australian Open. So we're going to have heaps of international visitors that are in town as well. We're looking to, to be able to promote Midsummer on, on an international scale as a result. Um, so for sure, we're going to have heaps of people walking up from Melbourne Park on the night, just sort of looking up going, what is that? And hopefully we'll be able to bring them in and make them part of the celebration as well. Well, it's a, a fantastic achievement by Midsummer, uh, particularly for our community. And, and of course, Ben TV is going to be there as we were last year. We're going to film the and event, so we're going to bring it to all those people out there that won't be able to make it on the night. So, uh, Ben TV are right behind it. So, thanks very much, Ray. And thank you, Vic. Thanks, Ben TV. Yeah, please come. Fantastic. It's a pleasure. I'm Vic Perry. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much, Vic. I cannot wait for Midsummer. Now, uh, we're about to take a quick break. Coming up after the break, we've got Q Calendar, we've got Vox Pops, and we're going to be talking to a lass who is a real blast. Just stay with us. Welcome back to this episode of Q Weekly, the first of 2005, I'm Stevie. Now, uh, we're about to go to Michael King with a few Vox Pops. Now, the question on everyone's lips last year uh, was uh, people's ability to actually have gay marriages. Now, Michael King went out and actually asked the question, do you believe in gay marriages? Let's have a look. Mark, gay marriage, is it for you? I wish, I dream, one can only... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you honestly, I'm not talking relationship. I'm, you know, relationships are all well and good, but would you go the full hog? Definitely. Would you? Yeah. Definitely. I would love to have the full marriage, and I envy straight people that can do it. Sign on the dotted line. Yep. Take half of my goods. Exactly. Yep. I'd love to. Now there's a game boy, ladies and gentlemen. And actually, I've got his email address. If any of you want to contact me <laughs> after the show. <laughs> Melissa here at Speed Dating. The question is, do you believe in marriage? Marriage. Funnily enough, perfect question to ask someone at Speed Dating. Do I believe in marriage? Of course I do. Now, do you believe in gay marriage? Yes, I do. So you think it's equal rights for all? That's right. So you don't believe that we've worked for 30 years so people don't have to get married? Like, we've fought for your right not to get married and you're going to fall into the trap. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> yes. So, boys... I believe in marriage. All those straight boys out yes. there... Give me a call. And of course the question tonight, ladies and germs, is gay marriage. Do you believe in it? Jake? Yeah, um, I guess I do, but it's really up to personal choice. I don't think I would actually get married myself. No, did but, I? But yeah. I'm quite happy to have a, a partner so and move in. So do you in. think, though, that we should be fighting for the right to gay marriage, regardless of whether it's our personal opinion that we should, yeah, that think, we would I go for it? That we should have the right to be able to do so. Definitely. Yeah. So the equal, you want half your assets to go to somebody and all that kind of thing and yeah quite happy with that do we need no a piece problem. of paper though that to tell us about well, commitment I, I don't but other people do and I suppose they've got the right to be able to pursue that if they wanted hello well, they I thought we'd right. fought for the last 30 years so straight people didn't have to get married now we're <laughs> having to get married it's just not fair is it oh uh, well I, I don't feel I have to get married at all um, but some people do and some people want it and they should have the right to do so, so. no white frock no rice no no definitely not for me me that white's not my color <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael, who was there at speed dating, hopefully trying to get himself a bit of a bridegroom. Poor little mite. 
Now, we're here with someone who is very, very uh, new to our family at Ben TV, someone who's going to be helping us out with our Q calendar segment. I'm here with Miss Elizabeth Blast. Hello. I can hear the roar of applause. You, yes, the crowd's going wild, wild, <sighs> wild. How are you? Fabulous. Fa fa I'm fa here. Fabulous. Fa fa fa. I'm, I'm here. You're here. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, welcome to, to Ben TV. Thanks. Not only to this show, but to our crew. I know. And I've been hanging around for a few weeks and annoying a few people and making my face known. And yeah. So, yeah. so tell us about, uh, tell the viewers about uh, Elizabeth Blast. Where did she come from? Where have I come from? From a I've pod, come from an egg? From, uh, from a pot or an egg. No, from a mother and a father. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's and a good start. Yes. Uh, yes. From the Burbs, actually. I came from the Burbs. A lovely place called Doncaster. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone in Dor Hi, Dor Doncaster. Hi, Doncaster. Cool. Yeah. That'd be a great little um, brain name, yeah. Doncaster. Yeah, but Doncaster. Anyway. Hey, let's write that down. No, yeah, and, uh, yeah. and I've just come out of the woodwork and I've been performing yeah. around town for about four years, I'd say. Yeah. Star Hotel mainly. You may have seen me down at Federation Square um, opening thing. Yes. Lizzie came out of a um, biohazardous waste bin, which was fantastic. <laughs> and, and you had your little dancers around in the in the lab coats. In the lab well, coats, holding bags of biohazardous waste. And, and I thought it was like you know, it's, you know, different. It was. Yeah. Now, like I said, you're going to be helping us out with our Q calendar mm -hmm. uh, segment. So, what little, uh, what can the viewers expect from you and, and our Q calendar? Just an informing segment about what's on around town. With a Lizzie Blast entertaining twist. With a twist. Lizzie Blast twist. That's right. And um, and I'm here to send out a message to you, to um, send in any community announcements that you may have. Yes. Because I can't do it unless the things are happening, and it's I don't know if things are happening unless you tell me. Yes, so get them in. So, you know, email feedback at benttv.org.au because we're really going to just launch ourselves into the, the I was going to say, in the 25th century. 2000. <laughs> getting, <laughs> yes, getting ahead of myself here. Um, into 2005. Yes, yeah, right. So, if there's anything, anything that is on mm. uh, around the community, let us know. And Lizzie's going to be adding her own little twist. That's right. It'll just make it fun and engaging and entertaining. The thing to remember it's not a gig guide. So, all you big name venues out there, it's not a, you know, she's on tonight and he's on tomorrow. And it's, it's about, you know, fundraisers and benefits and gatherings and community announcements. And if people are starting up a, a community um, group mm -hmm. or they're having a picnic or something. Yeah. <laughs> a picnic in a park. Picnic in a park, Come yeah. Tell us, let us know. Yeah. Anything fun and entertaining on in the community. That's right, yeah. And, it's, yeah, and the more, I mean, lots of people watch Ben TV. People forget, cool. you know. Hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> yeah, hundreds of thousands. <laughs> and um, yeah, so yes. it, yeah, we, we need to sort of up the ante a little bit and and um, get those submissions in and get me to read them out loud and proud on TV. Read out loud and proud. Now tell, right. us a, tell us a bit more about some of the, the shows that, and whatnot that you've done. Well, people, I have been called in the past the angriest woman in the world. Which makes me furious, actually. Because <laughs> it's not, it's not true! It's, well, it's, look, it's not true. I mean, people, people think that intolerance and, and, a, and a lack of understanding when it comes to stupidity is, makes you angry, and it yes. doesn't. It just makes you wise and yes, you're <laughs> hard not to angry. deal with sometimes. No, I'm not angry, actually. You're misunderstood. I'm misunderstood, but I fight for the little guy every time. Oh, <laughs> does that, that would... Oh, you fight for <laughs> No, you know what I mean. No, oh, okay, no. always know what you mean. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be so great because um, we were discussing before some of your little ideas for, for Q Calendar. Yeah. And it's not just going to be a, a run of the mill, yeah. I mean, no, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. No, I'm, you're I'm going to like be like a weather girl kind of thing. You're going to be like a weather gal. Yeah, weather girl, sort of barrel girl, weather yeah. girl thing. With yeah, a, it looks sort like of a map of. Woman. No, I don't actually. So, yeah, a map of Melbourne. It'll just be sort of fun, make it interesting and, and fast and whatever. And yeah, because Lizzie's, I mean, I, I. Why did I start talking about myself in the third person? Yeah. I, don't know. Um, I love Second punk rock madness. music, I love rock music. I think there's lots of queers and non straight people out there that love um, lots of other kinds of music, not just dance music and Kylie. Mm. I like Kylie. We all do. In pieces. Well, but, most um, of us, a lot of us, I shouldn't hmm? say. A lot of us love Kylie. I know, I but do too. Lot, but a lot of us also love other stuff. I know, I yes. know. And that's kind of where I sit. So I've got a theme song. We, we can't play it, can we? No, we can't. I think. Yeah, I've got a theme <laughs> song. Yeah, original. 
<laughs> original little theme song. Yeah, original little theme song. Are, so. we, pl- are we playing that before Q, Q calendar? Yeah, that, that, that'd, be, that'd be like my sort of like, you know, guitar riff lead in. A little bit of a lead in. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole segment thing. Are you going to have a pointer? Yes, and I, that's the other thing. If you want me to use a particular pointer, you can send one in to me. <gasps> yeah! Just like the guy in the ABC. Oh, he yeah. was called that dude. <laughs> Yeah, and no. it's funny. Yeah. yeah, send in your pointers. Send in your mm. pointers to Lizzie. We'll but we'll, we'll be giving you, um, I was going to say, email in your pointer, but you can't <laughs> really do that. Yeah. But we'll be giving you details later about how we're, uh, how you can actually send in a pointer. Mm. People can send you their pointers. That's right. But keep your white pointers to yourself. You're, that's, a, <laughs> that's a Bond's underwear type thing. Anyway, uh, geez, right. that joke crashed and burned. Um, but anyway, um, thank you very much. And welcome. My pleasure. Yes. And hi to everyone. Hi, Mum. Hello to everyone. Hello, Mrs. Lizzie. Miss Lizzie Blast, ladies and gentlemen, be watching for her here on uh, Q Weekly for Q Calendar. And speaking of Q Calendar, we've got it right now. Aren't you lucky? Um, now, we've got uh, quite a, a few things for, for Midsummer, for the Midsummer Festival on our Q Calendar this week. Uh, first up, uh, from Tuesday the 18th, uh, of January 2005 to Saturday the 5th of February 2005, we have Falling So Slowly. It's a play that chronicles the first few weeks of a relationship between Bobby, a young Caucasian man from Alabama, and Grant, an African-American musician from Philadelphia. They meet in a bar in New York and instantly connect sexually, but struggle in their efforts to share other parts of themselves. Uh, the play is, uh, is, pa- is part of the Midsummer Festival, like I said, and it's at the St Martin's Theatre in South Yarra. Now, also note that the play does contain male nudity and high-level sex, uh, uh, sexual content. Uh, so just make note of that. And uh, if you want to make bookings or if you'd like some more information, uh, just contact uh, the number 96855111. That's 96855111. And on Saturday the 22nd of January 2005, we have Naked Will, brought to you by Fly on the Wall and the Butterfly, the Butterfly Club. Uh, now it's part of the Midsummer Saturday afternoon play readings, and it's a romantic historical mystery where the character of Oscar Wilde goes in search of the hidden meaning of sh- behind Shakespeare's sonnets. Uh, and in doing so, he finds himself lost in the story of Shakespeare's love triangle with the mysterious dark lady and the young actor Willie Hughes. Uh, it's by Blair Fell, and as you may know, is uh, the award-winning writer of some episodes of Queer as Folk. And it's, like I said, it's part of Midsummer. So for more information, uh, visit the Butterfly Club website. And on Saturday the 22nd of January 2005, we've got Red Raw. That's right, it is here again. This event has been running for over 22 years and it's our community's largest, most outrageous gay lesbian dance party in a warehouse. At Queensbridge Street at uh, QBH uh, from 10 p.m. T- until 8 a.m. Tickets are $70 plus booking fee and are available through Ticketmaster 7. On Saturday the 29th of January 2005, um, we've got William and James. Again, it's from Fly on the Wall and Butterfly Club, and it's part of the Midsummer Saturday afternoon play readings. And William and James are two aristocrats, one young and handsome, the other middle-aged, uh, in Victorian England, and become locked in a struggle of power and control after one night of sex. It, they are propelled into a bizarre living arrangement that straddles a line between prostitution and business. Uh, and last of all, on our Q calendar, we have the one and only Pride March on Sunday, the 30th of January, 2005. It's the 10th annual Pride March and it'll be held in St Kilda, starting at 5pm in Fitzroy Street and ending up in the Katani Gardens. Uh, marshals are always needed, so for further information, or if you'd like to volunteer as a marshal, please uh, contact 9513-3054 or email at info at pridemarch.com.au. That is our show for, the, uh, for this Monday night, uh, and it's... Uh, and it's also the end of our Q calendar for, for tonight. So if you would like anything added to our Q calendar, please email us here at feedback at bentv.org.au and make sure you get in with lots of time with your press release and your details for us to, for us, for us to include you. So thank you very much for joining us. Make sure you stay tuned to, uh, for Face to Face this coming Thursday at 10.30pm. I'm Stevie Griffiths. Thanks very much for joining us. Good night.